Uh, first, I mean, first of all, I want to say that you look like an angel who went to heaven. I don't mean that in a nice way, but the background is really blurry. Is that intentional? In the studio. Oh, it's just on the Skype. It we edit everything in post. I'm edited out in post, and they uh, put in an attractive uh, black woman right. to do the show. Yeah. So the can you background- give me like bigger boobs? Yes, we're gonna just give you make bigger- them really huge. I want them. I want them like on the resting on the table. We're gonna give you huge tits. We're gonna take you out of a cell, and we're gonna put a cigarette back in your mouth. How dare you yeah. quit? How dare you? I have to. I have to. I had to stop smoking and drinking. Okay. What do you mean? Yeah. Ha- define have to. Um, I have a, a. I have. I sh- should probably just come. I have um, a, a sexually transmitted infection called. I'm like eight months pregnant. So is that I true? Have to stop. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I mean, do people know that? With with the next big uh, neoliberal novel, no, they don't. But I'm gonna just come clean because everybody's always speculating. Oh my God! So you're coming clean I'm on not- the Tim Dillon show and saying that you are pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, like a typical woman, I have to drum up some um, suspense and like emotionally extort people into, you know, I'm going to play the victim for the next six weeks. Right. My As- back hurts. <laughs> this is unacceptable. I really want to, I, I want to call, you know, I want to say, I, I want to walk around saying this is unacceptable. How do you plan to hold them accountable? You know, right. rectify all that. I have like six weeks left. Is your, do you have a name picked out for the baby? Um... No, not yet. I'm going to call it neoliberalism <laughs> or something stupid. I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I think it, I, I think it's like really a bad idea to think, you know, like people are like very precious about this kind of shit and they like think about it and they give it some like weird, like gay Edwardian name. And yes. just like, I don't know, kids should be like seen and not heard. They should recede into the background, be saddled with like, you know, adult chores. I'm only doing this so I can have like an unpaid domestic service. You know, because I don't want to pay. I, I need somebody to produce my podcast. I think that the name my parents gave me, they gave me the name Timmy because they go, let's give him a, a name where if he is uh, a, a fat faggot, it will fit so perfectly that it'll because Timmy is the name that was the, the name of the pussy. Growing up, Uh it was the name of the guy that was always joked around about, like, Timmy. So they gave me that, uh, which I I truly appreciate. Had my name been like Justin, I would have had a different life. Well, you would have been like the class rapist. That's true. And not a homosexual comedian. That's a very good point. Tim's a good name. It's it's like very um, generic, but um, cute. I love Tim. Tim's my best friend's name. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Or right. my new best friend. 